the recent party at Martha's Vineyard and that asshole Barack Obama and his clan of elitists. I could talk about that piece of shit Arnold Schwarzenegger and his hypocrisy immediately thereafter. But you know what I'm going to say. You can tell by the tone. And realistically, to hell with both of them and anybody they would associate with. That stuff doesn't matter. They're the elitist, the authoritarian pieces of shit. We all know that. No surprise. Nothing interesting there. So while I may occasionally talk about stories like that, that kind of stuff doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me, and covered this last year in a video, depending on what platform you're watching this on, I'll try to link that video so you can reference back to that. Two Bloods gang members, and I always appreciate when they tell me there were Bloods gang members, as if we don't know what the Bloods are. Just say two Bloods, 19 and 23, are charged over the death of eight-year-old girl gunned down during BLM riots at Wendy Square, where Rashard Brooks got himself killed by a cop. This is Sicoria Turner. Remember her? Remember her name? Remember Black Lives Matter immediately after? After poor little Sicoria was gunned down? The crux of the story was her parents ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. They were going to make a U-turn to get out of the way of these individuals that were at the Wendy's. And these idiots opened fire. She got struck. She got killed. My understanding was that the parents were fine. I'll let my man right here tell it. Got him! <laughs> Got him! Got him. The grand jury returned a 37-count indictment against Julian Conley and Jerrion McKinney in connection with the death of Sicoria Turner. And that was Friday. I'm recording this early Saturday morning. Conley was charged with malice murder and felony murder and Sicoria's killing. Both men face aggravated assault, gun, and gang-related charges. Sicoria was killed on July 4th, while riding an SUV with her mother and her mother's friend. Okay, so I was mistaken. It wasn't her mother and her father. It was her, her mother, and her mother's friend. Her death took place near the Wendy's restaurant where Richard Brooks got himself killed by a police officer just weeks earlier. They make sure to mention here that Brooks was black, huh? and it was a whew, white officer. You know, gotta throw that in there. Two alleged gang members, <laughs> alleged gang members, I, okay, maybe, maybe they're not, maybe they're not, have been indicted on charges related to the death of an eight-year-old girl. That's what they told us above. The case is the highest priority for my office, Fulton County District Attorney Fanny Willis said. Fanny Willis, calling it one of the saddest cases I've seen. Fanny Willis. Hmm. Fanny Willis. Got me wondering. We are alleging that Mr. Conley fired into the car when it failed to stop and respect their barricade. And that led to the tragic killing of Sicoria Turner. Willis said during a news conference, both men had previously been arrested in connection with Sicoria's killing and were being held without bond. Excellent. Here's a picture of these two scumbags here. Allegedly, allegedly, I gotta, I gotta soften my stance here. Allegedly, Charmaine Turner, mother of Sicoria, speaks outside of the Fulton County Courthouse after the two gang members were indicted in her daughter's death on Friday. It took them a while, but we're moving in the right direction. Fanny Willis, everyone, and it's about what I imagine. I bet if we get a look at that Fanny, I'm not going to say anything. Conley was arrested last year. An attorney for Connolly, who no longer represents him, has previously said he was peacefully protesting. No, 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 no. It was a 99.9% .9 peaceful protest except for the gun and the bullets, and witnessed the shooting, but did not open fire himself. No new attorney for Connolly was listed in the online court records. Going back to recap it from the beginning, it said Connolly is charged with malice murder and felony murder. So he's the one that they got the serious charges on. They don't tie those charges to McKinney. They have aggravated assault charges, of course, and the gun and the gang charges. But Connolly's the one being charged with the malice murder and felony murder. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation last week announced the arrest of 23-year-old McKinney. No attorney who could comment on the charges was listed for him in online court records. Willis said the two men were members of the Bloods Street Gang. Look at the red, this kid's a blood. See. Cancel Christmas. You did. What movie is that from? If I find the clip, I'll work it in. Cancel Christmas. Wendy's restaurant was set on fire the day after Brooks' killing, 
and people protested. Police brutality camped out at the side, blah, 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 blah. Makeshift barricades had been set up in the area by members of the Blood Street Gang. Who were protesting? Brooks getting himself killed. Willis said Brooks was also a member of the gang, but lawyers for his family said they had no knowledge of such affiliation. I, I know, I know, I know. It's possible. It's po We gotta wait for the information to come out. It's, it's possible that Brooks was also a mostly peaceful non-gang member, 99.99%, mostly peaceful, of course. All right, let's get a little bit more. They're getting too much into the Brooks stuff, which I don't care about. I get that it kind of weaves in, but it says here, authorities said armed men had been blocking roads and turning some drivers away. So I'm right here right now. As a driver of the SUV Sikori was riding in approached the barricade, armed people began walking toward the vehicle and signaling that the driver could not pass, according to officials. We are alleging that Mr. Conley fired into the car when it failed to stop and respect their barricade. Th that's just what we do when we're illegally setting up barricades. And the larger question is, who allowed these idiots to set up these barricades and menace the rest of the community like this? And we're not saying simply turning people away is menacing them. You have to question if law enforcement was allowed to do its job and would have cleared these individuals out to begin with. You have to question, and I know it's hindsight, right? But you have to question whether this would have taken place. You'd have to imagine that a great deal of the blame should fall on the individuals who allowed these barricades to remain up. Simple logic. Simple logic for a simple guy, right? There is enough blame to go around when an innocent eight-year-old loses her life over a situation that should have entirely been avoided had law enforcement been allowed to do their job. I wonder if that mayor had anything to do with police standing down. Hmm. Keisha Bottoms. So we got a Fanny Willis and a Keisha Bottoms. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Willis said Conley and McKinney are accused of guarding the barricade and encouraging the commission of various crimes as they're part of the participation in the Bloods, including aiming a firearm at at least two other people in a car the same day Sikori was killed. Hmm. There's that burned out Wendy's. Family and friends of Sikoria Turner present floral arrangements during her homegoing service at New Calvary Mission Church in Atlanta's Sylvan Hills community. Willis said she has video evidence that shows other people besides Connolly and McKinney were involved in Sicoria's killing, and she urged anyone with information to call her office. It makes you wonder if this is accurate. If Fanny's got her Fanny work in here, she's claiming that she has evidence that shows other people were involved, but yet she's still urging people to come forward with the information. Now, I get it. I'm just kind of thinking through this on the fly here. What you would assume she has is something showing it, but not necessarily the ability to identify the perpetrators. That's just what I'm thinking through right now. The city stopped tolerating protesters occupying the Wendy site after Sicoria's killing, and the charred shell of the restaurant was demolished on July 14th. It took a killing of an eight-year-old for them to put a stop to this. Sicoria's parents, Charmaine Turner and Sicoria Williamson, said the indictment brings them closer to justice for their daughter. We are thankful that at least two of the men have been captured and pray and hope that more arrests are made, Turner said at a news conference after the charges were announced. Okay, so that kind of maybe seems to back up what I was thinking about. Turner and Williamson filed a lawsuit in June against the city and city officials. I usually am kind of skeptical, but as I was talking about above, who didn't allow these officers to do their jobs? Who made that order? My feeling, and maybe this is taking it a little bit too far, but let's say that we can prove that their mayor and other individuals within their power structure allowed this barricade to remain in place, which ultimately led to the death of Sicoria Turner. Why can we not hold them financially responsible as well, individually? I get the city, they'd obviously be insured, but why can't we hold individuals, again, if we can make that connection, why can't the family hold them financially accountable as well? That would be my argument in terms of why they're bringing city officials in as well. If Mayor Bottoms has her bottom resting in a million dollar home, why shouldn't she be held accountable if she didn't allow the officers to do their jobs? Again, I'm just kind of thinking through things. I don't know that we ever really see that happen 
where a mayor or, or city council members are held financially accountable for things that happen due to their bad decisions. And maybe setting that precedent is kind of a fine line to toe, and maybe it kind of can go too far. But again, maybe it's something we have to look at because you'd have to think that this was something that was entirely preventable. It says city leaders showed negligence in failing to remove armed vigilantes who gathered at the site along with peaceful protesters. <laughs> peaceful protesters again creating a dangerous situation that led to the girl's death. Meanwhile, Brooks was shot dead, blah, 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 blah. I don't care one bit about Brooks myself. Since this is going to cause such an outcry in the community, bringing these individuals to death, BLM stepping up, they were like marching for her, got her like millions of dollars on her GoFundMe. Let's take a look at all the comments and all the people that care about Sicoria. Oh wait, there are none. This story's been up for half a day. Nothing. I added a comment. Comments don't post right away. I basically said that if these individuals are indeed the ones and they find others and they find them guilty of the charges, I hope they rot in jail forever. Additionally, I said that I hope the family cleans out the city and that they're able to go after the city officials and after their personal wealth. I know that may not happen, but it's pretty much what I alluded to earlier. I could have covered other things. Maybe other things could have got more clicks, but this story matters more to me. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and let's hope that we're on the road to justice for people like Sicoria. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good weekend. Look at the red. This kid's a blood. Cancel Christmas.